an alternate Earth where Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman were killed, Supergirl and Robin disappeared, and Darkseid successfully destroyed the planet, Earth 2 of DC's New 52 era shared the spotlight to some of the Golden Age identities of our other favorite DC heroes but in the modern setting. Earth 2's Justice League is called the Wonders of the World and they have banded together to defeat many apocalyptic powerful villains. They may be working together but they definitely presented very diverse behaviors that added spices to the already colorful reimagining of this universe. Welcome to DC Nez, and today, let's get to know the vibrant yet feisty characters of DC's Earth 2. Earth 2 is very similar to Earth 1, except for the fact that Steppenwolf and his parademons brought the apocalypse war that caused the death of Wonder Woman, Catwoman, Superman, and Batman. Meanwhile, Robin, who is Helena Wayne, daughter of Catwoman and Batman, together with Supergirl Kara Zor-El, stepped into a boom tube but was transferred to Earth Prime. The Amazons were slaughtered into extinction and Mr. 8 Terrence Sloan betrayed the heroes and brainwashed and killed millions of people. The sacrifices of the primary heroes won the Apocalypse War, but the new challenges that appeared five years after required new members of the Wonders of the World to step up their game and save the planet. So let us first meet the members of the new Wonders. First is The Flash. Jay Garrick is a 21-year-old fresh from college who seemed to have lost his direction. His girlfriend dumped him so he went on a hill where he found the god Mercury falling from the sky. Mercury was dying but before his death, he gave his speed power to Jay Garrick, giving birth to the Flash. It can be noted in this earth that the writers chose to use the Roman name versions of the gods instead of their Greek names such as using Mercury instead of Hermes and Minerva instead of Athena. Before his death, Mercury warned him that Mercury's fierce and evil captor is coming to Earth, and that Jay Garrick should not trust anyone. Like any Flash from various realities, he can do interdimensional travel because of his super speed. He can generate electricity, he has accelerated healing, and superhuman agility. Second is the Green Lantern, Alan Scott. This Green Lantern can do astral projections where he can leave his body so his spirit can fight off supernatural beings on ethereal realms. Alan Scott is a young openly gay media mogul who owns the Global Broadcasting Corporation, the biggest media outlet in the world. He was in a relationship with Sam Zhao and while they were riding a train in Hangzhou, China, the train crashed just when Alan was about to propose to Sam. Everyone died on the crash except for Alan who was apparently saved by a green flame, which in this earth is the embodiment of Earth's energy. This green flame healed him and told him that it is his destiny to become Earth's new defender and warned him that a great evil is coming. The flame transformed Alan Scott into the Green Lantern and the ring that he was using for his proposal became the conduit of his power. Because the green flame connects all plant life on Earth, this Green Lantern has chlorokinesis that allows him to manipulate all plant life on Earth and other elements. He can also alter his own size and make himself bigger. And like the other Green Lanterns, he can create green energy constructs with his power ring, he can fly, he can produce concussive blasts, and he can achieve superhuman durability while wearing the ring. During the second invasion, Green Lantern absorbed all of Earth's parliament and tried to prevent Apocalypse from swallowing the planet, but failed. Third is Hawk Girl. Kendra Munoz Santos, aka Hawk Girl, is a treasure hunter or tomb raider. She is an accurate marksman, proficient in various weapons, and has good investigative skills. Her main weapon is a crossbow, and she easily found the identity of Green Lantern and his lover Sam. Because of her skills and expertise in archaeology, she used to be part of the World Army together with the Atom when she was tasked on a mission to Egypt. Together with Khaled, they discovered the tomb of Nabu in Egypt and because of their disturbance, the protector of Necropolis gave her her wings. Khaled also found the helmet of Dr. Fate at this time. With the wings, she easily mastered the skill of flying and evasive maneuvers mid-air, illustrating aerial superiority. Fourth is Dr. Fate. Khaled Ben Hassan found the helmet of Dr. Fate in Egypt while escaping the grave robbers with Kendra Santos. They were hired by the World Army to find the tomb of Nabu. 
When Khalid found and wore the helmet of Naboo, he obtained the immense power of Naboo. However, it also made him a slave of Naboo's essence. This is also the same time Kendra's wings appeared. With the helmet, Khalid as Dr. Fate has immense magical powers that he can invoke many Egyptian deities to his command and use their varying powers such as creating energy constructs for his protection or to deflect magical attacks, releasing an Eldritch Blast, opening portals, or just doing immediate teleportations. Fifth is Red Tornado. Lois Lane is the Red Tornado of this Earth. The Red Tornado is an android created by the government for the World Army. When Lois Lane was a child, she was visited by the gods Mercury and Eurus. They foretold her about her bright but tragic future and that she will live beyond her death. Mercury then bound her with the spirit of Eurus, the god of the east wind. When she grew up and married Clark Kent, they raised Kara zor Clark's cousin, as she became Supergirl. During the Apocalypse War, Lois Lane died during the first strike of Parademons in Metropolis. Years after, when the attack of the Hunger Dogs of Steppenwolf became apparent, General Lane, together with Dr. Robert Crane, uploaded the consciousness of his daughter Lois Lane to Red Tornado. Unfortunately, Brutal, the imposter Superman, caused for their facility to collapse, killing General Lane. Aside from conjuring tornadoes and air blasts, this Red Tornado has outstanding strength that she can fight toe-to-toe -to -toe with the imposter Superman. Six is Valzod, the Superman of Earth 2. Valzod lived in his capsule and in his cell all his life. During his childhood in Krypton, his parents were executed as punishment for speaking out the truth against the government. Lara and Jorel, Superman's parents, adopted him and before the end of Krypton, he was placed in a capsule to flee to Earth. There were four capsules, one for Kal-El, one for Supergirl, one for Valzod, and another one for an unknown character. His suit was designed by Jorel to survive the voyage. And in his ship are recordings of teachings from his parents to avoid violence. When his ship came to Earth, he was found by Terry Sloan who placed him in a cell most of his life. He was later found by Batman, Thomas Wayne, and Red Tornado. Red Tornado trained him and he went on to fight the imposter Superman and won. Like most versions of Superman, Val Zod has the capabilities common to any Kryptonians. He can absorb solar energy and use it to gain super strength, super speed, super vision, super breath, and longevity. However, because of being raised in a cell, Val Zod was a bit agoraphobic. Seventh is Marella, Queen of Atlantis, ruler of all oceans, the Aqua Woman. She was at one time a prisoner of the World Army until Thomas Wayne freed her. She can pull every water molecule from anyone's body and she has super strength. She assisted Thomas Wayne when they found Val Zod and she helped during the second attack of Darkseid's followers. She gave a shell horn to Thomas Wayne as a guarantee that she will help him when he calls. Number 8 is Thomas Wayne. When Thomas was a young medical student, he found connections with the Falcon crime family when he saved Frankie from a gunshot wound. Frankie introduced him to a wild party-going lifestyle and even introduced him to Martha. Eventually, Thomas became their group's supplier of laudanum for their illicit drug business. When Bruce was born, Martha convinced him to sever all ties to Falcone. Because Thomas was a supplier, Frankie did not take this lightly and had him killed. Martha was killed but Thomas survived. He hid this from Bruce and later found Miraclo, a serum that can give him temporary super strength to take his revenge against Frankie. However, Bruce never accepted him back to his life. When Bruce died, Thomas decided to become the Batman in his honor. Ninth is Helena Wayne aka The Huntress. Helena is the daughter of Batman, Bruce Wayne, and Catwoman, Selina Kyle. She was first raised as Robin before the first invasion of Apocalypse forces, where she witnessed the explosion and eventual death of her father. Together with Supergirl, Kara zor they entered a boom tube thinking they will see Darkseid, but they were transported into another universe, which is Earth Prime. In Earth Prime, Helena used the name of Helena Bertileni and became the Huntress. Eventually, Kara was able to build a company that created a machine that took them back to Earth 2. Helena was then reunited with her grandfather, Thomas Wayne. However, because of the sad, she later became one of the Furies. Tenth is Power Girl. Kara zor is the cousin of Superman Clark Kent. During the destruction of Krypton, Lara and jor sent Kara, Val Zod, 
Clark and another kid onto Earth. As a young girl, Clark Kent raised and trained her to become Supergirl on a Micronesian island and Lois Lane treated her like her own daughter. She then became best friends with Robin Helena Wayne. During the apocalypse invasion, she became part of the wonders of the world but the great trio died and together with Helena, Kara was accidentally sent to Prime Earth. In Prime Earth, she became a businesswoman and was known as Karen Starr. Her love interest in Prime Earth is Mr. Terrific Michael Holt. She also took the title of Power Girl when doing superheroic exploits. As a businesswoman, she built a research and development company that eventually built a tool for her and Helena to come back to Earth 2. In Earth 2, the fury of war mentally controlled Kara, Helena, and Lois Lane. On the continuous onslaught, the planet was eventually destroyed. In the new world of Earth 2, Val became Kyra's love interest, but because the sun is different in the new world, their Kryptonian powers are not fully operational. Next is the Earth's Parliament. The Earth's Parliament is the personification of all of the energy of Earth 2. The Parliament consists of the Green for Organic Life, who gave Green Lantern his powers, the blue who characterized the power of the oceans, whose avatar is as a thought. The gray who personified decay, who gave Solomon Grundy his powers. The red who stand for animal savagery, whose avatar is Yolanda Montez. And the white for the power of the atmosphere, whose avatar is Sam Zhao, Green Lantern's lover. Other new wonders in Earth 2 are Dick Grayson who became the third Batman, Ted Grant, Red Arrow Oliver Queen, Dr. Crane, Mr. Miracle, and Michael Holt, Mr. Terrific, who is originally from Earth 1. Now let's go to the notable personalities of the World Army. The World Army is a global military organization that were created after the first apocalypse war. When Superman, Wonder Woman, and Batman died, they started recruiting metahumans and developed projects that would create super soldiers and super weapons. At first, they were always antagonistic of the wonders of the world, but later on, they partnered with the wonders to fight common enemies. First on the World Army list is the Atom. Albert Pratt is a sergeant of the military when he was transporting a nuclear bomb during the first invasion of the forces of Apocalypse. Parademons attacked his transport and the atomic bomb exploded. He was at the epicenter of a nuclear explosion and many died. He managed to survive but developed certain capabilities. He can grow very big or very small and his hands have atomic energy powers. He is sometimes an ally of the wonders of the world but is sometimes tasked to capture them. He joined the Flash, Green Lantern, and Hawk Girl when they fought Solomon Grundy. Eventually, he lost his right arm while battling Brutal, who later revealed to be an imposter Superman, and he sacrificed his life to create an underground cavern for the last remaining survivors of Earth 2. Second is Hank Haywood Jr., aka Captain Steel. Captain Steel is an American citizen but was born in the Philippines. He was born with a congenital defect that makes his bone crumble. His father was a lunatic scientist who created a metal substance that he used to bond with his son's DNA. The substance completely took over and replaced Hank Jr.'s skeletons with steel. It also converted many of his vital organs into steel. The procedure gave him super strength, invulnerability, and elasticity. He also has mental control over machineries. However, the metal substance took away his emotions. He is only completing his mission for the protection of the planet and nothing more. When Apocalypse forces attack, his father took his own life to protect the technology used with Hank. He would then work with the Atom at the World Army. Third is Terran Sloan aka Mr. 8. Sloan is a genius level government scientist who received a vision of a future attack to the world. To prevent this vision from becoming a reality, he blew up an alien device killing four nations. As Mr. 8, he was fighting alongside the original Wonders. Years after, he became the advisor of the World Council of the World Army. Sloan creates and utilizes many equipment of his own design, and his nanites can even defeat the T-Spheres of Mr. Terrific. Fourth is Connor Hawk, who is the Red Arrow of this Earth. Connor is an operative of the World Army and is mostly antagonistic of the New Wonders. However, on the second attack of Darkseid's forces, he saved the Wonders but died in the process. Other remarkable World Army officers are Wesley Dodds, the Canadian commander of the Black Ops unit called the Sandman, Sonia Sato, another commander for the World Army but has faithfully helped Thomas Wayne during the second invasion of Darkseid's forces, and Amar Khan, 
head of the World Army Command Center. Now, the astounding villains of Earth 2. First is Steppenwolf. Steppenwolf led the first Apocalypse War and he was successful in killing Wonder Woman and Superman. However, he was overpowered when Batman sacrificed his life to send his parademons back into boom tubes. For the next 5 years, he was hiding from the World Army but still powerful enough to conquer a nation through the help of his daughter Fury. His army grew again and he sent his hunger dogs to fight the World Army and the New Wonders. The first hunger dog is Beguiler, a magical being who can block Dr. Fate's powers. Second hunger dog is Bedlam, who can make others psycho crazy. He mind controlled Mr. Miracle, Mr. Terrific, and Sloane to create a boom tube that will transport the world to the space of Apocalypse. And the strongest of the hunger dogs is Brutal. Brutal is a savage and a super strong being who can fire death beams. He killed Steppenwolf after Steppenwolf claimed the world for himself instead of Darkseid's. It was then revealed that Brutal is actually a bizarro Superman created by Darkseid who thinks he is Superman. Brutal was ultimately defeated by Val Zod. Second is Fury. Fury is the daughter of Wonder Woman of Earth 2 and the new god Steppenwolf. She is the last of the Amazons as they all perish during the Apocalypse invasion. For a time, she was her father's most faithful soldier and primary enforcer. Fury and Steppenwolf were successful in defeating the World Army, however, Steppenwolf was apparently slaughtered by Brutal. Mr. Miracle opened her eyes and she saw the truth about her mother's death. Mr. Miracle then convinced Fury to join their forces against Darkseid. Her powers are very similar to Wonder Woman but she has a red lasso. Later, she became queen of the new Amazons, their trainer in the hidden city of Amazonia, and the new Wonder Woman of Earth 2. Third is the Sad. The Sad feeds on the pain of others. He can mind control a lot of people and he loves to torture them too. He is a seer who can view far away events from his fears and he can create boom tubes. He also converted Huntress to become a fury. Fourth is Big Barda. Barda is one of the most loyal soldiers of Darkseid and she is the Doyen of the Furies. After the first Apocalypse War, Barda disguised herself as Miracle's friend and pretended to be an ally for the World Army against Darkseid. When the opportunity came, Barda tricked Miracle into releasing Darkseid. When she was commanded by Darkseid to cleanse the Earth, the Sad created Proto Furies for Barda. Fifth is Solomon Grundy. Solomon Grundy can absorb the life energy of any living thing and turn them into rot. He is the avatar of the Grey or Decay. Back in 1898, he lived in the slaughter swamps with his wife and baby. His wife was sexually assaulted by his boss and committed suicide. He then killed his boss and also committed suicide. Somehow, he was revived by the swamp and became the monster that he is. He can reform and regenerate every part of his body. Number 6 is Dr. Fate's enemy, Wotan. Wotan's origin started as an ancient Northman developing her magical skills. She drove her powers to allow her memories to be passed on from one lifetime to the next as she is reincarnated. She soon realized that she needs to steal more power so her powers can grow. From there, she attempted to take the powers of Naboo. Naboo defeated her and when Naboo realized that Wotan will reincarnate, he marked her skin green so he can always recognize her on the next lifetimes. Wotan reincarnated in both male and female forms. Next is Jimmy Olsen. Jimmy is a young yet outstanding technopath who hacked into many public domains until the World Army imprisoned him in the Arkham base together with many other supervillains. During the second invasion, Batman, Thomas Wayne freed him and Jimmy helped the New Wonders fight Darkseid's forces. When the two mother boxes merged with Jimmy, he became a new god and developed many superpowers such as teleportation, boom tube generation, and energy projection. In the new world of Earth 2, he became a villain and called himself Dr. Impossible. Then there's Klee. Klee is the last Tamaranian in this universe. When she arrived on Apocalypse as a child, she killed many parademons and this made her eligible to train to become a fury. Despite her brutality, she loved her sister Ayla and her teacher Kazana. When she was introduced to Darkseid, she killed them both claiming that she will only love Darkseid. From there, she became the fury of war. 
During the second invasion, Klee easily fought the New Wonders and mentally controlled Power Girl, Red Tornado, and Huntress. And finally, the god of tyranny, Darkseid. Darkseid is the supreme heartless ruler of Apocalypse. He has conquered many worlds and in the Earth 2 storyline, he has succeeded in destroying the planet. Five years after the first Apocalypse War that was led by Steppenwolf, Darkseid met his second attack that was led by his powerful furies Klee, Famine, Pestilence, and Death. He also commanded Barda to prepare Earth for his arrival. Then he released his terraformer on the atmosphere and his death spawn to destroy the core. He easily defeated Power Girl, Val Zod, Green Lantern, and the rest of the heroes. Apocalypse then devoured Earth and the remaining survivors fled. So there you have it. Do you think Earth 2 is more interesting than Earth 1? Was it more exciting because Darkseid really destroyed Earth? Do you think this version of Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman can rival the originals? Which Earth 2 character is your favorite? Place down your comments below and hit subscribe.